now that you're hugely sought of the celebrity uh, with an incredibly hectic schedule, so how do you balance your time with the kitchens back in Australia? Yeah, look, uh, what I made, uh, I made a conscious decision to build this development kitchen. That was my, my place. Okay. When I say my place, the place that I can get my chefs to come to me rather than me running around like a busy bee. Because mm -hmm. the last thing I want to do is go into the, 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 our other kitchens and push my she head chefs aside. It's disrespectful. So what I prefer to do is they come to me. Okay. So in the development kitchen, I'll develop all the dishes and show them, right, I want this done like that. Yep, you got it, understand it, let's taste it, document it, and then it goes out. And as well as that, I mean, you know, for example, next Friday night, Friday day, I'll spend the entire day in there. I've got a list of dishes that I'm working on. And then 12 people that night will come and sit in my development kitchen and I'll cook for them the dishes that we're, we're trialling. Okay. And then I can gauge how the reactions are, adjustments we need to make, documentation, acidity, balance, this, that, plateware, cutlery, how we're going to serve it with what wine, what beverage, and then that will then either go off to the restaurants or still stay in there for further development. Right. So I've created a process, rather, because before I was just running around like a headless chook, not really being proactive. And now I've got to realise, you know, I, I'm not over the stove anymore, but I'm close to the fire, right. I'm close to the flame.